Hi, babies. These are my budgies. I have seven budgies, and they are all males. And their cage is, it's an HQ flight cages. And basically it's 32 inches wide and 21 inches deep and about five feet tall from the stand, you know, right to the floor. So my budgies basically only sleep in this cage or when I really need to get them in the cage. They're out most of the day and a lot of times because there is seven of them and um, sometimes they can squabble in there if I keep them in there too long. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how I care for my budgies. All right, I'm going to introduce them first. Don't fly out yet. Wait, stay there. Oh, look how pretty they are. So on the top right corner, that's Lightning. I, well, he was found outside about five months ago. I've had him for five months. And below him, the gray budgie, that's Sterling. He was born in my house. He's just over five years. And he's a spangle budgie. There's a pied budgie up there. Uh, Lightning is his pied budgie. And then Moonlight here, he's a pied as well. He only has one foot. He's going to be 10 in a few weeks. And, oh, now they moved around. The little blue one there. Now I have two blue ones, Jack and Thunder. Oh, I believe this one's Jack. Yeah, that one's Jack. I found Jack outside four years ago, so I just say he's around five. And um, this one here, that's Thunder. Thunder was found about five months ago as well. So Thunder and Lightning uh, came to my house about five months ago. I tried to help catch Thunder, but someone else did, and he came to live with me. So I don't know how old they are. Um, I'll just say they're one. And uh, who else? There's Flash. The little yellow one there. Uh, Splash is Sterling's brother. He's about, just, he's over five years old, same age as um, Sterling. So, and up here, okay, there's Sky. He's about four years old. Hi, Sky. He has a, what the vet said, uh, an immune system problem, a like compromised immune system. He has several problems with his health, but he's, he's doing okay. All right, so basically they're in here for the night to sleep and then I let them all out. So I'm gonna let them out now. Come on guys, let's go. <laughs> Look how fast they all come out. Moonlight, what about you? Moonlight's thinking about it. Cone Sky, he's, he stayed behind as well. Come on, so they can come and go. Um, they do have these toys. They always have toys to chew on and they have these swings that they're sleeping at night. There's only six there because Moonlight since he only has one foot, he can't sleep in these swings. He sleeps on top of a flat surface like over there or up there. Sorry, it's a little blurry. The wooden platform. So he doesn't have a swing. And they have several different perches in there. Come on, guys. There's a few more perches down here. So in the mornings, I feed my birds lots of fresh foods. There's two bowls here because I do have other birds that you'll see that they live with. And I know it looks like a lot of food, but I have a lot of birds in here. So basically what it is, is this is like a, a spring mix that I get from the grocery store. And I put that at the bottom, has the greens. And this one has um, kale and there's a little piece of spinach there. And then I have some uh, radishes, uh, carrots, parsnip, and zucchini, I believe. Yeah, zucchini. Then uh, for the grains, I sprout their seed. You can see I got, um, actually I got soaked a buckwheat that's been soaked. And this is their sprouts. Hopefully you can see the sprouts there. It grew a little bit longer than I like to, but they can still eat that. So the sprouts are various organic seeds and um, they really enjoy it. It's very healthy for them. And I'm gonna give it to them right now. So let's see what they do. I put their food on top of the cage here. They'll just all come here and land on it and eat it up. And I hung a piece of kale here. And they have some oat sprays, which they can just chew on. And I hung a piece of uh, basil or basil, whatever you call it. It's a herb. They really enjoy that. Every day I offer them a uh, bathing opportunity. They have just a plain bowl of water. Then they have uh, these couple of fountains. 
I do have other fountains, but these ones seem to be the favorite for my budgie. And look, he's already looking at it. And they have all this area to play in. And this is the other side of the room. They can fly around, then over here and go to the other side. And there's Sky. Well, he just walked past the food. <gasps> He'll come back and eat. Now, I, these are all males. The reason I have all males is because, uh, well, they get along together much better than they would if there was pairs and females. I had a female once and all they did was fight. And I really don't want to breed. I don't want a hundred budgies or a couple hundred budgies. They say they like to breed. And um, so I find the males easier. The females fight together. So males seem to make friends and they, look at this, and they actually love each other and they make pairs um, within the males. So I let my budgies play and I let them um, just be budgies. Only two of them step up. I, you know, really don't enforce their to be tame or for them to step up on me. These two here, because they were born here, they, they will step up if they have to, if they want to. Sterling! No, he took off. Flash! No. There's Sterling. Now, Sterling and Flash are half English budgies. So you can see the size difference with uh, Splash beside that thunder, I believe. He's a little bit bigger because he is half English budgie. And Sterling is much bigger than the other budgies as well. He's in there eating the oat sprays. Whenever I get a new budgie added to my flock, they do go to the vet. So the vet can examine them, make sure they're okay. And I do quarantine any new birds, which I recommend everybody doing if you get a new bird. Um, you don't want to introduce a disease to your current birds. I quarantine them for 30 days or longer. And they go to the vet, they get a fecal, blood work and um, or viral testing just to make sure they're healthy and then they join uh, my flock and when my budgies are out of the cage uh, that's when I'll go in the cage and I'll clean their cage I'll wipe down the perches or just um, take the perches out and wash them down and their paper gets changed every day sometimes I change it twice a day in the morning and the evening uh, before they go to bed, I would change it so they don't sleep with all the, um, you know, droppings in there. They don't want to breathe all that stuff in. So I keep it very clean. It's best to keep the cage, you know, clean for health reasons, obviously. And most of my budgies like to pleasure themselves. Like this is, uh, I think that's Jack. Yeah, this is what budgies do. And for their health, um, I can, you know, take care of the nails myself. I can trim the nails and their beaks if needed. Their beaks have never needed trimming, but if they do, I can do that myself. So I get uh, a lot of experience. And if they're sick, I put them in a hospital cage that I have and provide heat, food, and water. And as soon as I see any signs of illness, I take them to the avian vet. I make sure that they get at least 10 to 12 hours of sleep at night. I do cover their cages so that they can, they can sleep uh, well because uh, the room that they're in, um, my dogs have to go out of this door that there's, I got a big sliding door right here. So if I don't cover them, uh, the movement of the dogs and myself going in and out of this door would scare them and they'll have like night fright. So they haven't had any night fright and because they're covered at night, My budgies, uh, they do have um, various pellets that they eat throughout the day. I do give them some seed as well, like dry seed, but the majority of it is like fresh food, um, sprouted seed, and they always have uh, greens every day and some kind of chopped mix. I've let the rest of my birds out. My budgies are fine um, with my birds. Thunder, though, is in love with my lovebird, and they feed each other and hang out together. You can see <laughs> that Summer taking a bath. My budgies are, well, there's two in there. There's three, four over there.
in the warmer weather, my budgies go outside, I have an Avery, or I just wheel out their fly cage so they can get some fresh air and sunshine. So in the evenings is when I refresh up their pellets and I give them some seeds and they actually get a small piece of spray millet. So when they are going to bed, that's how I get them in the cage. I put a piece of spray millet in there and they all go in. That's how I catch all my birds actually. And also I give them some sprouted millet, um, which I'm going to give them right now. So this is what my sprouted spray millet looks like. I have a video on this of how I sprouted it. It's on my channel here. You can go have a look at that. And all my birds love the sprouted spray millet. I'll leave it there and they'll come and pick at it and enjoy it. Budgies are out of their cage around, could be eight to 10 hours. It depends on my day. Sometimes I let them out at nine o'clock in the morning, sometimes eight o'clock, sometimes even earlier. And then I put them to bed, depends, anywhere between seven and nine. Depends on what time I wake up and what time they wake up. I get them in bed so that they can have a good night's sleep and stay healthy. And they have a great time in here, I believe. They're always on the go. <laughs> There's some toys for them to chew. And they can go in and out of any of these cages. Like my birds are in here, you can see the budgies there. They can go in and out of any cage so they can eat, sleep, have a rest, or just chew on some toys or whatever they like. So that's how I care for my budgies.